Hi and welcome to my channel. The channel that's all about finding joy in every stitch and getting cozy in your hand knits. I'm Lena and today's video is about my latest shawl design called Surrender. I've got it on my lap here. So it's a really, really long rectangular shawl that's easy peasy knitting. Perfect for knit nights, um, TV marathons, and just for those moments when you don't want to think about things too much, just want to enjoy your stitches, your knitting, the yarn between your fingers. So this one is sort of in two parts. First you knit the central uh, garter stitch panel that has this thin stripes. Once you've done that, you pick up a whole lot of stitches all around it. That's the most difficult and time consuming and probably the most annoying part of the show. But once you've done, once you've picked up your stitches around, um, again, the lace border is, is very easy to knit. Just simple eyelet lace in two colors. So the stripe motif continues there. The rounds, yes, the rounds are really, really long, but the pattern is so easy that you can definitely just put this down mid round and continue later on and you won't lose your place. Um, what else? Yes, the yarn, the gorgeous yarn that I used for this. Here they are, what's the left of them. So I used a newish indie dyer, Brambles and Me. This is her rich, rich base, which is 100% Superwash Blue Fest Lester, high twist. Um, it's, it's, the skeins are 100 grams and each skein has 365 meters, so um, 400 yards and thereabouts and these are naturally dyed. Now this darker colorway that I used, my contrast color or um, my C2, color two is called Hot Toddy. And my color one is this palish mauve called Kissing Gate. And I think they made a really nice pair together. Now um, I had two skeins of uh, kissing gate of my color one and one skein of color two. So you need about 520, 570, 520 meters, 570 yards of your um, main color, 250 meters, 275 yards of your second color. So two skeins and one skein and then there will be a bit left over. I actually think this one would be enough to knit a pair of my Secret Grove knits, which I've been wearing a lot, so would like to have another pair, and I think this one would be great for that. Or a Harriet Row cowl, but I just cast on for that with another yarn, so um, <laughs> maybe not a third one of those just yet. But yes, so um, I used 3.5 millimeter US 4 needles for this. Um, again, use a needle size that gives you the pattern gauge and a nice drape to the um, fabric. And then uh, four stitch markers. You also need four stitch markers for the, to mark the corners. So the lace is then easy to do. When this comes off the needles, it looks probably a bit odd, really misshapen. The garter stitch in the middle pulls together and the pickup ratio for the edge stitches are more than normal because I intended to stretch, uh, stretch the shawl lengthwise and I wanted the edges to have enough low and enough um, ease in them to accommodate that. 
because I, I wanted a really long shawl. I know this is too long to even show here, but yeah. So once you've finished knitting, don't panic. It's meant to look odd. Soak it. 20 minutes in cool or lukewarm water. Squeeze excess water out and then stretch, especially lengthwise. Look at the, um, in the pattern I have a diagram or a sketch for the with the finished measurements and um, uh, so look at that and really stretch it the garter stitch is sort of over stretched really loose and then the edge is nice and flowy so you can wear this on your shoulders yeah like old shawls um, it's long enough to, to sort of drape around like this and of course you can wear it as a scarf as well wrapping it around your neck I think it would even go one more time if I really wanted to but yeah nice and cozy but it's still very lightweight and so I think it's perfect for for layering just having on hand whenever you feel chilly so this pattern is now out on Ravelry um, link to it is down below and if you're watching this close to the release date Brambles and me uh, will have pre-order kits in their shop for this shawl so it includes three skeins of the rich base and this will be one of the color combinations on offer but um, but there will be other gorgeous options as well if these are not your colors but yes oh and I didn't specify but this is fingering weight yarn if you're looking to substitute with something else so fingering weight uh, any fingering weight yarn would would work great for this So that is everything about the Surrender Shawl. Do uh, check it out on Ravelry. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the shawl. And hit the subscribe button if you want to know whenever I upload. If you want to know when I upload new content to this channel. Also, any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. I will see you soon again. In the meantime, happy knitting. Bye.